If you get hacked on RuneScape, in the majority of cases, it's very preventable. And it goes beyond just setting up Authenticator on your account. Because as you'll come to see, these hackers, script kitties, whatever you want to call them, have ways around that. In my experience, from doing these RuneScape abuse videos, there's three predominant ways that RuneScape accounts are being stolen. Those are phishing, brute forcing, and account recovery. I'm going to show you how to protect yourself from these cyber delinquents. Even if you know about how these attacks work already, I'm going to be going into the specifics of how they're executing them to get RuneScape accounts. That is, identifying the critical areas of security that you need to address as to not fall victim. There's a lot of really conniving tricks in here that I bet you've never heard about and you should know about if you want to protect your stuff. Just like NordVPN, the sponsor of this video can protect you from DDoS attacks. Check this out. One of the ways that account hackers steal your stuff is by hitting you offline with a denial of service attack. So while they're going through your bank and cleaning all your valuables, you can't get online and submit a recovery request. But we'll be talking more about that shortly. It's important to protect yourself from that. And that's exactly what NordVPN does for you by allowing you to tunnel through their super fast servers. But maybe you don't care about protecting yourself from DDoS attacks. Perhaps you care about saving money. Check this out. If you're from America and want to buy a year's worth of membership, that'll run you $100. But if you connect to a Canadian server, open up a new incognito window and go to buy membership, it'll only cost you $90 because of the exchange rate. Or check this out. One of Randy's recent videos got geo-blocked everywheres but Japan. Guess who has a server in Japan? NordVPN. I can connect to it and now I can watch that video. There's a bunch of other use cases too, so if you're ready to reap the benefits of NordVPN, you can go to nordvpn.com crumb or use coupon code crumb on checkout. You can get a two-year plan plus an additional month for free at a 66% discount. That's a wonderful deal for a wonderful product. A big thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. Okay, let's get into it. I think the most devastating way that accounts are being stolen is by a method known as brute force, or more accurately, credential stuffing attacks. I don't have the statistics, of course, but I would assume that this accounts for most breach logins, because the unfortunate nature of credential stuffing is that you don't really have to do anything wrong to fall victim. And the scope of victims goes up to high heaven. That is, if you sign up for websites on the internet, you're likely already vulnerable. The real problem is many websites have dodgy security. Every other day, ones are getting hacked in their database, potentially containing your login information, dumped. Check this out, here's a list that keeps track of basically all dump databases that go public on the web. As of today, it contains over 500 breached websites. And just opening the most recent two, this one exposed 1.3 million users, and this one exposed 3.4 million. That should give you an idea of how insane these numbers are. And RuneScape private servers, black market forums, and botting forums are seriously some of the worst offenders. They often have really poor security, and that's led to, well, check out the list on screen right now. These are all ones that have had their databases dumped. If you have ever used any of the private servers here, any of the forums here, your account may seriously be at risk. But even if you haven't, there's other things here too like XSplit, 000 web hosting. Have you ever used those? You might be at risk too. The worst part is all of this crap is stupid accessible online. Here's some footage from a past video I did of a Russian website that allows these type of people to search through them and see the passwords associated with a username or an email, or vice versa, search by username and find an email, or search by password and find usernames and emails, whatever it might be. What makes this particularly devastating is the use of account cracking software to automate the credential stuffing. This allows them to test hundreds of thousands of breached username and password pairs automatically in order to gain access to accounts. See, credential stuffing is like finding a needle in a haystack. Out of a breach, the majority of accounts won't be vulnerable, but when these people are testing 3,000 accounts a minute, they start to get hits. Worse, on top of the cracking software, they've built bots to automatically check things like total level, membership status, bank value, etc. It's not just about stealing the wealth off accounts either. They'll also sell the accounts to botters who want to farm on them. I'm sure you've heard the stories of people coming back to the game after a few month long break to find their account, if not already banned, turned into a Zora bot or anything else for that matter. 
These types of breaks are also what allows them to get into your bank account even if you have a pin set. That's because the default recovery delay on pins is just 3 days. Most players are casual. Most players will go 3 days, if not months, without logging in. You can change that recovery delay to be a whole week by the way if you go talk to a banker in game. If you've been enjoying the video, consider subscribing. I'd love to hit 100,000 so I unlock the final tier of YouTube creator support. So how can you protect yourself? Well, the first step always is to enable two-factor authentication. The downside is that this exposes you have an account on RuneScape, which can lead to fraudulent recovery requests, but we'll talk about that later. The second thing you need to do, more so for your own knowledge, is to go to haveibeenpwned.com and search your email address there to see if it appears in any database breaches. There's also a section of this website that will allow you to search passwords to see if they've been exposed as well. Now, regardless if your email or password has been compromised, you want to make sure you're using a unique email and a unique password for your RuneScape account, ones that you're not using anywhere else because that completely removes the risk of showing up in a breached database. I recommend making a fresh Gmail account and enabling two-factor authentication on that as well. Don't use the two-factor authentication through SMS because that puts you vulnerable to a thing called SIM swapping. Instead, use the one through the Google authentication app. That's the safest way to do it. Now, I know you can't change the actual email that you log into the game with, but you can change the email that your account is recovered through on the RuneScape website. So when you make a new email, change it there. And just to reiterate, make sure you're using a unique password separate from your RuneScape account on that email as well. If somebody gets into your email account, that's like gold. They can get into anything else attached to it. And by the way, one downside of Have I Been Pwned is you can't search usernames. But if the username you use in-game is one that you use across the web, that may have been exposed with passwords and emails attached to it that hackers could use to get into your account. If that applies to you, it's seriously a good idea to do a double name change to something you don't use anywhere else. Especially when you consider searching usernames for information in this way is one of the first things hackers will do when they're trying to commit a fraudulent recovery request against your account. This is the second method that hackers are using, and unlike brute forcing where the scope of victims is wide, account recovery is very targeted. Worst of all, even if you have two-factor authentication enabled, they can still get into your account through this method. If you're a high status player, somebody with something to lose, maybe a lot of GP, you gotta watch out because these people are scouting you out. It's a very personal attack. Their entire goal is to scour enough information about you from the internet or by talking to you directly that they're able to submit a credible enough recovery request so that Jagex will give them access to your account. By better understanding how they get that information, you can protect yourself. Now, it's no secret what information they have to collect. This has been posted by Jmods on Reddit. If they can find old passwords, the date you created your account, and the internet service provider at time of account creation, along with your current location, then they can get access to your account. So let's go through each of these. Past passwords goes back to these breached databases, but with a targeted attack, they first have to find something that connects you to a set of breached credentials. Often, this starts with your user Username. They'll do a search, and if that appears in one of these databases, well shit, you've got to double change your name. If there's no hit, well maybe you have a Twitter account, an Instagram account, clan forums, RuneScape fan sites? A lot of high level players are registered on those. The problem with these social sites, besides the information that you post on there willingly yourself, is that, well check this out, if you go to recover my account, Crumb OSRS, it'll say send an email to cr star 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 at g star 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 dot star star star. You can basically guess what that is. Send an email to crumb at gmail.com, crumb OSRS at gmail.com. On top of that, different social media sites will show different parts of the email. Instagram, for example, will give the last letter right before the at sign. Combine those together, if your email is guessable, then it can be searched in dumped databases. And besides possible old passwords showing up there, those dumped databases often have IP addresses associated with those accounts too, which exposes your location, and if you haven't moved, your creation internet service provider. 
And worse, as I mentioned earlier, they can actually see if your RuneScape account is associated with this found email address if you have two-factor authentication enabled. That's because Jagex has a serious security flaw. That is, if you try to log into a RuneScape account, even with an invalid password, the two-factor authentication will always pop up. So if these hackers try an email and that two-factor authentication pops up, boom, they know they've found your login email. Worse with that, they can do the account lock bug. I did a whole video on that, but they could potentially lock you out of your account for three days while they reset your bank pin. That said, it doesn't even matter if these emails are not associated with your RuneScape account at all. It is still a security risk to your RuneScape account because of the information they could possibly expose. So the solution to all this is to make sure that your social media emails are not guessable in this way. Check them out and if they are, go and make a new email address and update them on that website. In fact, if you want to get really sneaky, make your new ones look like they would be guessable based on the first and the last letter, but have the middle of it be a bunch of random stuff. Now, if you're fortunate enough to not appear in any dumped databases based off your email, based off your username, they can still get a hold of your account based on what you're posting online and based on what you're saying to people you think might be your friends. We all know of new streamers, somebody comes into their chat and starts asking them what appears to be innocent questions, but it could also be somebody you meet in game pretending to be your friend. Maybe they want to see how old your account is at hands in Lumbridge. Or maybe you posted on Twitter that you just got the 10 year veteran cape. Well, that just exposed your creation date. Maybe they want to know where you're from. Maybe you have where you're from written in your Twitter bio. How many internet service providers are in that area? Perhaps you click a link that they sent you, but that link was actually an IP logger in disguise. Well crap, again that goes back to the ISP and your location. You can protect yourself from that with a VPN or by being really diligent about what links you click. This is a little extreme. Maybe you're willing to give out what country you're from. Well, if somebody asked you, what time is it for you? And you tell them you've just exposed your time zone and from your country and from that time zone, they can pinpoint even closer to where you're actually living. So the solution here is very much intertwined with the credential stuffing attack. Make sure that you're not exposed in those breached databases. If you are, change all of that information. On top of that, you've basically got to anti-dox yourself. Go through your social media accounts, go through your YouTube account, see what you've posted online, and remove anything that reveals this type of information. On top of that, you can get really creative. You can start spreading fake information about yourself, fake where you live, fake when your account was created, by making a post on Twitter saying you got the 10 year vet cape, when you really got it 5 years ago, whatever it might be. You've really got to put yourself in the shoes of somebody trying to break into your account, find those areas of vulnerability, and then put little honeypots down so when somebody is really trying to breach your account, they stumble into those honeypots and think they've found the real information. The final way hackers steal your account is by phishing attacks. These are fake websites set up to typically look like the official RuneScape website, but sometimes other popular sites like RuneLite are mimicked too. These fake sites will lead you through a login process, and even ask for your bank pin and authenticator. That sounds crazy to anybody who's super familiar with logging into the RuneScape website, but typically anyone unknowledgeable enough to fall for a phishing scam is unknowledgeable enough to enter that kind of information too. Of course, when you enter your details on one of these sites, it all goes to the hacker, and worse, after that, it'll actually redirect you to the real RuneScape website so you never knew what happened. What's really devastating is that even if you have authentication enabled, that code actually lasts for 3 minutes, not the 30 seconds as it appears on the auth app. This gives the fishers time to DDoS you offline and then gain access to your account before the code expires. So how do you protect yourself from this type of attack? Well, there's five main ways that they appear. Number one is the fake double XP or quitting RuneScape streams. I promise you, Bodhi isn't quitting RuneScape and giving away his bank, and there's no double XP weekend. If you ever want to verify that, manually search for Bodhi on Twitter, or manually go to runescape.com to see if they're advertising a double XP weekend there. Number two is paid Facebook ads. Facebook does an awful job at not preventing phishing links from getting on their website. Fishers get creative about these, but just to give you a few examples. Fake t-shirt giveaways, double XP weekends, when mobile was being released they had fake mobile ads running. I basically don't trust anything that I see on Facebook related to RuneScape. 
Number three is YouTube videos. I'm sure you've seen the people at the Grand Exchange saying I'm quitting, giving away my bank, search Mr. Quitterman123 on YouTube, and if you do that, in the description of that video, it'll say go to this forum post, but really it's a phishing link. If you ever want to go to a forum post on RuneScape, use quick find codes. This is what Jagex implemented to get around this type of phishing attack. So if you're in a clan, whatever they have you, someone has a forum post, ask for the quick find code, then go to runescape.com yourself and you can search for that quick find code. Number four is fake runelight imposters. So you'll search for runelight on Google and the top link will actually be an advertisement to a fake runelight site. These are worse than typical phishing attacks because what they'll do is they'll take the legitimate runelight client and they'll bind it with a virus, typically a remote administration tool which will give the hacker full access to your computer and subsequently your runescape account. This is the most dangerous. If your computer gets compromised, all the past tips about good account security won't save you. If you're going to RuneLight, make sure you're going to the right URL. That's RuneLight.net. And number five, like RuneLight, people will also bind malware to fake bots and fake private servers. While I'm sure in the comments, some people will say you deserve to get hacked if you're searching for bots, you should be aware of that regardless. So I hope you have learned something from this video. I would highly advise looking into a password manager so you can use different passwords on all the different services that you want to sign up for without having to actually remember them. And if any of you have any tips, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you liked the video, smash that like button and I'll catch you in the next one.